working with conditionals is a very common thing that you'll do in the Kotlin language. Let's assume that you're building an application which will track your calories. And let's assume we start with 2,500 calories. And these would be the calories that we consumed already or the user has consumed and they're tracking for their diet purposes. Now let's assume that we had a requirement that says if the calories that have been consumed are over 2,000, then we have to print a message to the viewer or the end user to let them know that they've eaten enough, they've consumed all of their calories for the day. So here we have, see that they've consumed all their calories for a day. Now if we run this, you're gonna see down here in the bottom window that we can see that they've consumed all their calories for the day down here at the bottom. Now, if we were to change this, let's say to 1900, we're gonna notice that the line of code here on line four does not get run because the calories are less than 2000. So that means we're not gonna print this line. So let's say for some reason, uh, we wanted to check to see, uh, otherwise if they haven't eaten all 2000, we can say something else like, okay, you still have some calories left. So we'll say print line. And if we were to run this, we would see now that you still have some calories left. So we know that, again, this is a conditional, this is an if conditional, and this is the else portion. So if there are over 2,000 calories consumed, this line of code is going to be printed. Otherwise, else, we're going to print this. So any other types of, if it does not match this condition, so anything less than 2,000 is going to show up here. So we even just put this to 2,001 and rerun this. You're going to see that we have consumed all of our calories for the day. Now let's assume that you're working with someone and they decide, or you decide in your app that you would like to make sure that if they've consumed over 1500, then what you would like to do is give them a little bit of motivation and to let them know they have a little bit of room to have like a snack or something. And so you can say if calories is less than, excuse me, is greater than, 1500. So here, admit perhaps it's a uh, 2000. So if the calories are greater than 1500, we can say print LN and say you have a few more calories left to eat. And so if we run this again, what we're going to see here is still the top line. You've consumed all of your calories for the day. Uh, let's go ahead and make an adjustment saying we've eaten 1750 and we're running our program. And the program would now say, you have a few more calories to eat, as we can see down here in the bottom. And then if for some reason, we even set this to 1499, which means this condition would be false. And then it checks this condition, this condition would be false, which means anything in the else block would now be printed. So let's run that. And we can see that you still have some calories left, which is pretty cool. So you can keep adding on these various different else ifs. So if we wanted to add another one here, we could add another else if as well. And we could say something else like calories is less than is greater than 1200. And perhaps we want we would just want to give another message here like this. And then if we were if you were to run this and you were to set this at let's say 13 1400, and we were to run this, you could see down here at the bottom, you said you have some room for snacks. So we can uh, keep adjusting this and play with this. And there's no limit to the amount of else ifs that you can throw in here. So if you have many conditions, so if you only have you know one condition, it may just equate to be something like this. It's very simple, your if or else. You do not have to have an else either. If you don't wanna have an else, and you just need to perform some type of action only if one value is true here, then you go ahead and print this. So a else is not required. The else ifs are not required if you're using an if statement. So again, just an if statement, or you continually add else ifs, and we can continue to add these if we wanted to. So we could add another one here, and we could say calories are greater than 1,000. And you could say you have plenty of calories left, etc. And as we go down, so again, if we were to go to 1100, that line would now print, you have plenty of calories left. And if again, we dropped it down to, let's say 800, and we ran it, which one do you think would run here? It's actually going to be the bottom one here because the calories is not greater than 2000, it's not greater than 1500, it's not greater than 1200, it's not greater than 1000. So therefore, the final condition is going to run. And this is a very simple 
if else conditional that you can use. These are going to be the most traditional type of if else's that you see in your programs.